Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to put a page together and we're using that random collection again. Oh, that is so pretty. But I like this. We're going to use this as the background. It's not often that you see such a pretty pink wood grain. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, so now I really don't know. You know what? I'm going to take this sheet and I'm just going to cut random. Ha! Ah, kind of goes with the collection, right? I'm going to randomly cut papers. So basically what I'm doing is scraps. You know me and scrapping with scraps, right? I love it. So if I don't have any, I'll make it. <laughs> Because I have no idea what I want to do. And you can tell I wasn't measuring. I wasn't anything like that. I just kind of took. I just kind of took the papers and just started cutting. And now I'm going to take the cut parts like this and see if you know, there's anything that I want to use. And I usually like things like offside, like offset, not offside. <laughs> that's that's a, a hockey term. You're offside. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, okay, we'll go. How big is this? I have no idea because I didn't measure it. So it's five and a half by eight. Okay. So, if I want, let's say, let's say four and a half, and let's say basically by seven. This is the only thing I measured, and it's because I want it, ooh, yes, I want it to fill it like that. Let's start gluing down. If I like something, I just go for it. So we're going to start gluing down or right now. Ooh, I think I should finish, be able to finish this layout though before I run out of ATG. Okay, let's do this. And you know what? I'll probably put another page kit using these same colors. And you know, the next layout is going to look completely different too. I want to try and get a hundred page kits. I mean, I had these seven, right? That could have been part of my hundred, but I needed, I needed to make some layouts. So let me see. Ooh, yes. I like that. I like that a lot. I love things that, you know, um, go off the page like that. Now that's a lot tone on tone. So I think I'm going to ink the edges of that so that it, you know, stands out. Now I have to say, I've used this to put these in order. And I've also used this to do that on the wall. Now I haven't done it with my crayons that way because crayons, they keep moving. So, uh, cause I keep them in a tin like this. So um, you know, I couldn't do that with that, but I love it. Love it. Because now I just go like this, pink and red. They're all in here. Then I have my greens. I have my neutrals, blue, yellow, orange. I don't have to go through five. How many tins do I have? Six tins. I don't have to go through six tins to find the color I want. Now I just grab the one that I need. Now I have to say I only put the colors on one side so I need to make more so that I can put it on either end because a lot of times I'll put it you know in my little cubby here the wrong way. So I have to you know pull it out it, it's not a big deal, but it's just that, you know, Murphy's Law is every time I'm going to put it the wrong way. 
So I'm just going to ink the edges of everything. And this is aged mahogany. I love this color. So I'm going to, on the light pink, I'm just going to gently um, color it. Just wondering, do I want to do this? Because it's like pink on pink. So this is a deeper pink, so that works. I don't know if I'll do the one and a half inch circle there. We'll see. Okay, I really like how this layout is coming together. So we'll bring that up just a little bit. This will be my journaling. So we got one cluster here we're going to go right across and we'll do a cluster here let's start bringing these embellishments and see what we can do with this i'm going to try and use this flower right not why not right because the last layout we kind of took it out and then we didn't use it so let's do that maybe It'll work better like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's start gluing down. I really like this thing here. Beautiful. So that sticker. So we'll see if I can use that somewhere. And that can kind of be my title too. So we'll glue this down. Okay. And I can tell you. Having these page kits done was a lifesaver. I mean, I had to make them to have them, right? They weren't ready ahead of time, which if they would have been, it would have been even more of a lifesaver. But it took me maybe an hour to get them all done. And then um, I was able to get, you know, all the layouts done before we left so that I would have two videos a week for you guys. And I'm hoping that, you know, we'll have enough internet to try to upload one video a week of our trip. I'm gonna try. Um, there's going to be a little bit more, if you will, in detail with Patreon because um, I can't put Mason here on YouTube, so. You know, I might put like the back of them or something like that, but on Patreon, there's going to be a little bit more in details videos. Okay, I like that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is what I said I really like. It has blue on it, but that's okay. We'll figure out something. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like that. Should I try? I didn't push it down. I was going to say, should I put some aged mahogany to the edges? And the answer is yes. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay. Now... I'm going to ink the edges of these two, and then we'll glue down the arrows. Okay. We'll do that, and we'll put that right here. I don't think, I was going to say, I don't think I need to do the small arrow, but I might just kind of try to cover some of those white edges on the side there. So we'll do that. Okay, now we'll get this one done. Then we gotta figure out where that third cluster is gonna go. I always, the first two clusters, boom, boom. You know, I always seem to be able to just put it together, no problem. But then that third cluster, that's usually where I have to stop and think, but you know, once you start looking at it, then you can easily figure it out because, 
you know, if you use the rule of thirds, then you can say, okay, I have a cluster here, I have a cluster here. The third one can be directly above, but I don't like two clusters together. You can do a cluster here, a cluster here, and then maybe a cluster right down here, which is probably what I'm going to do because there's a little bit of open space there and the photo's right in the center. So that works out. And usually my third cluster is usually my baby one, if you will. So we have, you know, this could be considered the bigger cluster, the medium cluster, and then the small cluster. Although those two right now are pretty, pretty close. And that's because that sticker was so big, but I wanted to use it anyways, even though it was big. So we'll do this. And then my baby cluster, my little cluster, I don't put as many things in it. I might put, you know, my viewfinder, a circle, maybe the arrows, and then one little sticker. And that's it. Am I going to put... See, by putting this on this side, it really does this. But if I do this, then it takes down that cluster. So where you're placing some of these things really affect the look. So, you know, take a second, just kind of try different location. And as soon as you move it, you can, you can feel, you know, your eye, oh, it's putting more emphasis here, or it's putting more emphasis there. I sh probably shouldn't glue these down until I figure out what I want to put on these. Okay, I kind of like this little potty girl, which I don't know why, I just do. I kind of like that. So let's, let's ink the edges and then we'll glue it down. Just like that, just like that. Okay, love it. Now, what is left? What is left? Oh, I have some stickers over here. Do I wanna put maybe a little border here? Maybe, yeah. It's tone on tone, but I can still see it. So I like that. I wanna just, just the little details, right? It's all in the details. Okay. What about this guy? I think it was one or the other, so I'm not gonna use this one here. Okay. Let's look here. So there's a flower here, there's a flower here, and there's little flowers on that little potty girl. So we're good. Ooh, do I want to use this little flourish thing? Maybe. Maybe, because I find sometimes that just finishes off a cluster. I don't know if this time around is the time for it. I don't think so. I don't think so. So you know what? It's going to stay unused. Okay, what else? What else could I put on this? Maybe some enamel dots. Hmm. Let me check that first thing. That first thing. I mean, that's where I got that sticker, so we're good. So I took something from the die cuts. I took something from the sticker sheet, like the long sticker sheet, and I took something from here. So that's a good, that's a good average, you know? And the die cuts are so big, I, I feel like I don't wanna add anything else. So we're just gonna call it good. We're gonna look for, hmm, what color? like a burgundy that be that wouldn't be in red maybe in the pink there would be some deep burgundy enamel dots 
Ooh, look at that. That is perfect. Let's use that. It's kind of a burgundy pinkish. So we'll use this. And then we'll go to this one. Just like that. And then we'll go to this guy. Just like that. And we'll move these guys down. And then we'll get rid of the excess. Okay. Awesome. So what I like to do, I like to keep track. So that was June 2022 and it was for YouTube. Okay. So that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.